Panama City Seafood Market, the Mercado de Mariscos lies at the foot of the historic Costco Viejo District. It consists of two parts. To the left is the market where you can buy freshly caught seafood fresh off the fishing boats you see in the bay. This part of the market opens early around 5 a.m. as the fishermen arrive in with, with their overnight catch. Fresh fish, lobsters, and shellfish are all laid out on ice or swimming in buckets of water. But unless you have your own kitchen to cook your own feast, chances are that the other part of the market is more useful to you. That's where the restaurants are where the freshly caught seafood is served for your dining pleasure. These aren't fancy joints. They're essentially counters with plastic outdoor seating. Latin tunes blur over the speakers and some TVs are just kind of hung up over the canopy. What's going on guys and welcome back to the Hungry Road. We're here at Panama City, Panama. Just want to give a big thank you to my man Marcos. He's a tour guide. He's taking us around the city. The old city, new city, the Panama Canal, the three islands, all kind of stuff. But we're here right now. Restaurant El. Hold on, hold on. Repeat, repeat. El Marinero. Come here, come here. Okay, okay. El Marinero. El Marinero. Yeah, El Marinero. El Marinero. El Marinero Restaurant. Restaurant. Restaurant El Marinero. <laughs> <laughs> this is my boy Daniel. Daniel. Yeah, Daniel. Dan my middle name is Daniel. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! So anyway, right here in front of us, we have some, this is a combination ceviche. Yeah. It's got shrimp, octopus, I mean, all kinds of stuff. Let me look at the menu real quick. Hold on, hold on, I had it, I had it. Yo, yeah, something tell me. So we got shrimp, sea okay. bass, octopus. Combination in this restaurant is come with shrimp, octopus, calamari, squid rims, black shell, and sea bass, okay? It's that one type of the fish. There's so much stuff in here, but ceviche is like, it's, it's, it's a way of cooking with no heat. They use like lime juice and other things like that. The acid kind of cooks the food for you. It's pretty, pretty good. So right here, one more time. Chombe. No, chombo. Chombo. Ahi chombo. Ahi chombo. Ahi chombo. Chombo pepper. Chombo pepper, which means strong black people of Panama. No? Yeah, yeah, Somewhat? yeah. All right, yeah, let's sure. try this first. We got some plantains. Yeah, okay. chips. All right. Plantain chips without the sauce. Very good. Very fresh. You don't need salt. None of that stuff. Very nice. By the way, we're here at the fish market downtown. There's so many restaurants on this little strip right here. And if you see the colors of the chairs behind me, the colors of the chairs are like each restaurant section. You'll see in the B-roll, but it's kind of cool. So I want to try this sauce out real fast. Let's get a little bit on here, or a lot on here. Oh, it looks good. I can smell it. But check that out. I don't know if you can see it there in the camera. Give it a good taste. Yo! That's got some great, great heat. This is what I expect. You say bring me a spicy sauce, this is what I want. All right. Now let's try out the actual ceviche. We got two spoons, one for Bay. She's off camera. The wind blew her hair all over the place. She won't be on camera, it's cool. Let's get a good, hey, hey, hey. Okay, get a good spoon full here with a chip to help me guide it in. Go ahead, here, here you go, take the spoon, Bay. No, okay, I'm gonna cheers you. Get you a little spoon there, check that out. Get a little closer, all right. So it looks like I got some shrimp. I got a little tail in here, it's gonna be a little crunchy. <laughs> you got a nice onion there. Cheers, boo. Happy vacation. Mm. That lime is very powerful up front, but disappears. There's a lot of cilantro here, so I know she's not happy. But it's very, very, very good. Got some onion in here. Try some ceviche. Don't be afraid of it. Especially this good combination stuff right here. So we're gonna eat this, we'll get back to you. All right guys, my drink finally showed up. This is the passion fruit mojito. Now mojitos are usually made with like mint, lime juice, things like that. This thing looks super colorful and super juicy. We gonna see, I actually want to be strong like me. Like Brahma Bull, let's see what we got. Let's give it a good stir here. 
It looks very muddled, very delicious. See the coloration is yellow, goes all the way down to the green here. Give it a good stir. Let's do a little, see what we got here. Not bad. All right, let's give it a good sip. That's very good. I taste the mint. I don't taste the rum just yet. Let's give it a more stir, a little more stir. I like my drink strong. It's cool. I bet it'll hit me later on though. Mmm. Very good. Very sweet. It's a nice refreshing drink on a hot day. All right, y'all. The food has arrived. This is looking ridiculous in front of me. You know how Applebee's and Chili's, they do the whole fajita thing, and it be like steaming when it come out, or at, Ruth, at Ruthie's, Goose Crisp, and the steak come out on a sizzling plate? This is very, very similar. It's a giant skillet, and it come out steaming and bubbling and stuff. It's cool. We got our silverware here, made in Panama. Gotta respect the locals here. So I got the mixed grill or mixed seafood dish. And it's just like a bunch of seafood caught right over there. Probably today, delivered here and put in the skillet for me to enjoy. So it's like calamari, sea bass, shrimp, clams, you name it, it's probably in here. And I got a side of garlic yuca. Now yuca is like a, a, a healthier, thicker, denser potato, but it's better for you. A little side salad over here. They got uh, languistines, or prawns, which are languistine prawns, very, very similar. But let's dig in here. So mine's in the Caribbean sauce. I'm just gonna toss it around just a bit. Sorry, that drink is hitting me. It was a huge drink. <laughs> this is gonna be a messy little stir. I don't know where to begin. But, so I'm gonna get my knife out. Let's cut one of these calamari. Nice little rings. Fun fact, I don't like the baby squid. I only like eating the rings. These guys here, check it out. A good base on the sauce. Calamari is cooked very well. It's not too salty. But I can't pick apart the flavors just yet. Here, see? See these little babies? See these? Nah, I don't do those. You over here on the side. Mm -hmm. They might eat them. I won't. This is very delicious, guys. It's not too salty. It's an excellent balance. Now, the yucca fries. I'm really excited for these. Check these guys out. Mmm, garlic yuca. Ain't that garlic yuca, boy? Imagine, imagine if a mashed potato just stood there in one spot and you ate it. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. A baked potato is different. Because a baked potato, you gotta cut up and whatever. This just like melts in your mouth. It's crazy. Like this, look. It's in one piece, but you eat it. You can crush it with your tongue. It's so delicious, guys. But I'm gonna finish my meal. I'm chilling with my man Marcos. Beishi over here is warm. But if you're in Panama City, the real Panama, not that Florida place. Make sure you come to El Marinero. I've been made fun of for saying this so many times. Check this place out. Ask for Daniel, my middle name, for his first name. All right, guys, subscribe. Take care. Thank you.